Hello everyone. So last day we have worked on our search button in our books page and we see we have seen how we can search for books and today we will work on our login page again and here we will add the username after someone logged in and we will remove this login and sign up button whenever someone log in and we will just show logout button. So now whenever someone press the press their username and password and that matched with the database information or data inside the table that value of that username will be found in all other pages of our website so we can find out who is logged in from this account or from this pc so here we will go to our login.php page student login.php page and here we will start our session you need to write session underscore start and then first bracket and then a semicolon inside our php code and then here we have written that if the submit button is pressed that mean that means login button is pressed then they will check if the data matched and if the data match then we will write a session variable here our session variable will be dollar sign underscore session and then login underscore user here we will give the value of the username that will be written inside the form by the user here inside our login form whatever value the user will give we will put that value inside our session variable login user here the value of the form will be dollar sign underscore post and then username then a semicolon so this value is assigned to this value that means our session variable has a value now that value is the value from our form and we have started our session so now our work is done and we will go to our index page so here inside the index page at the top of the page we will start our php and inside that php tag we will start our session again so if you add session start function in any of the page then you can use that session variable in that page inside that page anywhere you need you and this is really very important thing whenever we will want to see which person actually requested for a book we will use this session variable there to see which person requested for that book and here inside this header section after the online library management we will write our php code here we will give an output and the output will be the username that the user just logged in and we have put that value inside our session variable so we will write that session variable name and we will echo that out so we will write echo and then our session variable name then semicolon and this will be inside our php tag okay now if we put a value inside our form refresh the page and then okay we will use the first one the username c and password d to log in username c and password will be d and then we will press login and they will direct us to our index page here and now if we select everything from the page you can see the word inside our header now you can see the username was c so here we are seeing the username as our background color is black and the word is also black so we cannot see it normally we will change that color later first let's just modify all of them so we can just see how we just logged in from our login page and we are seeing that username here inside our index page so that means we can use that variable anywhere in any page if you start by writing session start function so here we will start writing inside our php tag if and then the variable name our session variable if session variable has a value that means the person has logged in so there is a name of the person username of the person that logged in 
so if someone log in then we will give this navigation inside our header so we can just copy and paste them and this is our HTML code so we need to end our PHP and open it after the navigation tag because if condition is our PHP PHP code and this navigation tag and everything else is actually HTML so we need to start and end our PHP tag in the exact place and here in place of login we will give logout because the person is already logged in so we don't need login option right now so if we refresh this page as the person C is logged in you can see that here you can see the logout option is here and now what we will do we will remove one part of this navigation because this four will be appear whenever the person is not logged in and the other will be whenever they are logged out so here if the person is logged in they will see log out as our navigation and they will not see the login option and if this does not happen so we will add another else condition and that will, that will be our PHP code so we will write it inside our PHP and inside the second bracket of else we will add this navigation and as the navigation will be HTML code so we need to end our PHP tag and we need to start our PHP tag before the second bracket ends because the bracket is actually from our PHP code so here we just did it and now we need to move this before the PHP starts okay okay now everything is all right so here if they are not logged in we will see the login option and if someone is already logged in they will see logout option now the user c is already logged in so we are seeing that logout inside our navigation okay so here we will create a new page and we will save this as our logout.php page and we will add this page inside our logout navigation whenever someone press on this that person will be logged out from the website and here we will start our php tag again and inside that php tag we will start by starting our session because we will use the session variable here whenever you need to use that session variable you need to start your session first and here if is set then the variable name or session variable that means if session variable is set that actually means that if session variable has some value it is not empty that whenever someone will be logged in our session variable will have a value so if is set session variable then we will do what we are actually unsetting that value because we need to log out that user from our website so we will use unset function and inside that function we will give that session variable and here after all this we will use a header and inside that we will write like this location index.php so after someone press logout button they will be directed to the index page and here we will change the name as logout.php and now if we go to our home page and press on logout you will see the login option instead of logout student login now you can see that so that means no user is logged in here and you will see here is not our username we are seeing an error here and because there is no user logged in so we are seeing this and okay we are i think i have written something wrong here inside the if condition i have not actually given is set function here 
we need to write it like this if is set and then inside this the station variable and now we will not see the error message in it again now refresh this page okay and now select all now you see there is no other error message here so we need to write is set function and inside that we need to give our session variable so after this we will go okay here inside our this page inside our navigation bar page we will add this session variable and we will change the navigation where we have used our bootstrap navigation okay here we will start our session first because we need to use that session variable which we have created in our login page when any user logged in so here inside our navigation page we will also use this if condition so let's just copy them to check if any user is logged in or not so where we will change here every other navigation bar will be same we will just change the navigation in the right side here the navigation nav bar right here we will just change this part if someone is logged in we will just show them log out option and if someone is not logged in then we will show them sign up or login option so here we will start our php code and here after this we will use our if condition to see if someone is logged in or not so here we just paste the if condition and then inside the second bracket we need to write our html code for our navigation and we will take this one because if someone is logged in we will just show them logout option and you can see the color is changed because this is our html code and we are writing this inside php tag we will change it a bit later first let's change the name of the page this will be logout.php and now we need to do the end the php tag after the bracket and then we need to start before the end of the second bracket here or you can just say that after the list tag here then we will give another else condition that means if the user is not logged in then we will show them the login option and the sign up option so we will just move this inside that else condition and again we need to do what we need to end our php and then we need to start our php before the second bracket uh, second bracket ends because that second bracket is inside our php code okay so here okay now let's go to our books page or some other page so we can see this now you can see someone is not logged in so we are seeing these two options sign up sign up and login and if someone log in then we will see only log out option so let's just log in by using okay we are seeing another error here what does the error message say it says that the system has already started a session so yeah we already started a session and we have started another session here you can see that inside our navigation page we have started a session and inside our login page we started another session here and we have already included navbar.php page so inside that page we have another session started so we don't need this session we can just add the navigation page in every other page so we don't need to add that many more times so now if we refresh the page we will not see any other error message now you can see everything is all right so we will just use another username and password c or d let's say and we will see only logout option here okay let's go to our 
books page again and now you can see only logout option is here the other options are not here okay so we just need to move this logout navigation to the right side of the page and we need to change the styling a bit like this other navigations inside our navigation bar so we will change this styling and if we go to our feedback page you can see the same styling because we have added the link of our navigation inside every other page and we, we, we only have one navigation.php page so if we change anything all changes will be saved so here we did not use this class we just take that list tag and copy them inside that if condition so we need to add this ul tag too so that this styling will be added and we need to close that ul tag and now we will see the exact same styling of other navigation okay now here if we click on this you can see our logout button is on the right side and the styling is exactly same as the other navigations here if we click on this or hover the mouse on this it changes the color and now before the php ends we will echo out a message that will be welcome then the username so we need to write it like this in php we need to write the message inside second quotation and then place a dot and then the variable name the variable name is same and whenever you refresh this you can see here the color is black so we cannot see it but you can see when you select this page now we just need to move that to the right position again and we will add it here inside this Okay, we will end our if condition here and we will create another div here so we are using our HTML code again so we just ended our PHP and we are taking this PHP code inside the div box okay we are using a div box because we can add some styling here and as inside the div box there is some php code we need to start and end our php before and after that echo statement okay now you can see the color of our php code so here we will add the styling style will be color white save this and refresh the page and you can see the color now you don't need to select to see this color ok now we just need to make take this to the right corner and for this we will just add it inside this evil tag where we have added our logout list and here we will create another list tag and inside that another anchor tag inside this we will just take this div statement or div box here inside this place ok now the styling will be exactly like the other navigation and we can see the writing there you can change the font size if you want to make it a bit bigger okay now when you refresh this you can see the username is on the right side beside the logout option and if we click on logout they will actually then you can see the student login option on the index page and you can see login and sign up option whenever you are going to other places and now let's say we will log in another user here the username is Promi and the 
password we have set one two three four five six and then press login now you are seeing this page so let's go to some other places feedback page or books page you can see welcome from me the username is here you can see it clearly now okay so that's how this works and this is really important to order the books and working from the admin panel to see which person ordered for any books that's all for today thank you